watch this. Abracadabra, Alakazir, Panda Bear, Panda Bear, disappear! Uh, Nick, why didn't your magic trick work? Hmm, maybe there's something wrong with the wand. Uh-uh-uh. <laughs> A good magician never blames the wand. It's the cat. The cat in the hat. <laughs> so, you're having trick trouble? We're trying to make Panda Bear disappear, but he won't go. Hmm. You know, the last time I went diving in Scuba Marine, I met some sea creatures who could do amazing tricks. Maybe they can help us learn magic. Can we go, Cat? Please? Of course we can. Your mother will not mind at all if you do. <laughs> Mom, can we go to Scuba Marine? Some sea creatures are going to help us do magic. <laughs> Scuba Marine? Sure, why not? We can go, we can go. I know, I know. To the thingamajigger. Buckle up! <laughs> Flick the jigger, my wizard! <laughs> Isn't this fun? <laughs> dive! 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 Wow! Blue fish and yellow ones! <gasps> Cat, what's that? Is it a mountain? No, it's a coral reef. A coral reef? A reef? is a city under the sea. It's made up of shells as small as can be. It's just full of nooks and crannies that give shelter where all kinds of creatures can live. Including my friends. Nick, press the shrink a doodle <laughs> Let's go and meet them. Wow, now we can see things really close up. Like that cool rock. That's not a rock. <laughs> That's a sea cucumber. Cucumber? Like in a salad? No, 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 no. A sea cucumber. He's not a vegetable. He's my buddy. Hey, Spot, mind if we drop in? Huh? Oh, boy! It's the cat! Hey, Sid! Puffy! Cat's here! The cat in the hat won a nice surprise. And he brought company. Hello! Indeed I did. Nick, Sally, meet three of the best tricksters in Scuba Marine. This is Spot, the sea cucumber, and Sid, he's a reef squid, and Puffy, she's a balloon fish. Hi! Nice to meet you. Likewise. So, what brings you to the neighborhood? Well, we were hoping you could help us learn some magic. Cat says you can do amazing tricks. Oh, yeah. I have a great trick. I'm sure she was referring to my trick, which is clearly the best. No way. My trick's the best one in the whole reef. Hello, little fishy. Huh? Oh, great. Here comes Barry. Hey, little fishies. Time for a lunch. Barry's out looking for a seafood lunch. Come out, come out, wherever you are. I say, come out, come out, wherever you are. <laughs> oh, no. He wants to eat you. Now that's a barracuda for you. Always thinking of his stomach. Don't worry. If we hide, he won't even know we're here. Shh. Is everybody okay? Oh, sure, we're okay. This happens all the time. He almost never sees us. So, now that Barry's gone, who wants to see our tricks? Yeah! <laughs> Our tricks help us to avoid becoming Barry Barracuda's seafood lunch. Watch. <laughs> Whoa, you are huge. Yes, and a 
it had prickly. <laughs> that was amazing. Oh, making yourself big is easy. I can make myself small. Watch. <laughs> hey, how did you do that? I make my body go all soft so I can squish into a tiny space. Barry could never fit in there. And that's why my trick is the best. Please, my trick is so good, I could outwit three barracudas. Watch. <gasps> He's gone. Form a search party. File a missing squid report. <laughs> Cat, I'm still here. I get it. You can change color. Cool. It makes you really hard to see. Precisely. Hello, <gasps> little fishies. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Ew. I hate prickly food. Yuck. <laughs> <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Yoo-hoo! Ow! Oh. Where'd he go? Huh? Mm. Mm. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy! <laughs> Yikes! Oh, not my beautiful submarine blubber! You two, hide in the reef! I'll handle this. I'm sorry, sir. We're all out of fish today. Perhaps you'd like to see our vegetarian menu? Uh, uh, okay. Ah! Whoa! Huh? Quick, hide, Sally. Phew, you're safe. But what about Cat? Yikes! <laughs> Oh, Barry! <laughs> Come on. Now you see us. Now you don't. What? Where? What happened? <laughs> Yay, Sid! That was amazing! Yeah! That black stuff totally confused Barry. What was it? My squid ink. If someone's chasing me, I squirt ink so they can't see where I go. It's an excellent distraction. Distraction? What's that? That's when you make someone pay attention over here so they don't see what's going on over here. Mm. Hey, little fishies, time for a munch. Bear is out looking for a seafood lunch. Come out, come out, wherever you are. I say, come out, come out, wherever you are. <gasps> He's back! We'll never get back to the subbery blubber with Barry out there. Maybe we could distract him. It would take something pretty special to get Barry's mind off a fish dinner. Hmm. <gasps> I've got it! To get his attention, we'll give him his wish. Thing one and thing two can pretend to be fish. <laughs> <laughs> Does it? I'm out of here. I'm not that hungry. Yes! No, oh, are we clever? <laughs> it's time for us to go home. Bye, everyone. Bye. Thanks for showing us your tricks. Our pleasure. See you soon. Ta ta! No, I come back and see us real soon. A reef is a wonderful, magical place where everyone has a good trick, just in case. Some creatures get big, and some shrink till they're small. But sometimes, distraction's the best trick of all. Their tricks gave me a great idea for how we can make Panda Bear disappear. And for our next trick, we're going to make this panda disappear. Ooh. Abracadabra. 
Alakazir, Panda Bear, Panda Bear, disappear! Huh. Ta-da! Oh, <gasps> it's gone! How did you do that? With magic. And a little distraction. <laughs> <laughs> Today we're interviewing our friend Gecko, one of the greatest hiders in the world. I am the hiding master. Tell me, Gecko, what makes you such a good hider? Where did he go? Amazing speed, right? But watch this. Watch what? He's gone again. Yoo-hoo! That's called camouflage. See, my colors match the tree, so it makes me hard to find. Any other hiding tricks? Where did he go? I'll bet you want to know how I did that. Well, you see, I have these tiny little hairs on the bottom of my feet, and they stick to the tree and... Hey! Where did everybody go? Surprise! Now that's good hiding. That's a wrap with our friend Gecko, one of the world's greatest hiders. I am the master. How do we know a bird is a bird? Do we ask it politely and take the bird's word? Do we know it's a bird when it crosses the sky? That sounds pretty good. But some birds don't fly. Do only birds sing? Is that how we tell? But whales are not birds and they sing songs as well. Ah, says the cat. I'm still ever so clever. For I know an answer that will last forever. What makes it a bird? Let's all say it together. Lies under my hat. Yes, you're right. It's a feather. All birdies have feathers, big ones and tiny. Some feel so soft and some are quite spiny. They help a bird fly. Keep it warm as can be. And some make the bird look as handsome as me. The mystery solved by the cat in the hat. All birds have feathers, and that's simply that. <laughs> Explore the outdoors with PBS Kids by land, sea, and air. Go to pbskids.org and let the adventure begin. Just click on the compass. Let's go, go, go. Fly a kite with the cat in the hat. Let me have a turn. Collect bugs with George. <laughs> or watch and discover what it takes to be an explorer. Yeah, we're the nature tracker. So grab your backpack. Ta -da! Go to pbskids.org and start exploring today. It's Sid the Science Kid. I'm breathing a lot of air in. I wonder where all that air is going. That's a great question, Sid. It's Sid the Science Kid, weekdays on PBS Kids, or watch anytime you want at pbskids.org. Funding for this adventure is brought to you in part by... Viewers like you. And you, and you, and you, and you. <laughs> Thanks so much. You're very kind. The cat in the hat knows a lot about nature. Do you? Rainbows are a very special thing found in nature. And the colors of the rainbow always line up in the very same way. Red, orange, yellow. What's next? Green. 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 Blue, indigo, violet. <laughs> I love rainbows. You can learn more about nature with the cat in the hat at pbskids.org. And now, calling all super readers. Superwise next. PBS Kids. The cat in the hat knows a lot about nature. Do you? Rainbows are a very special thing found in nature. And the colors of the rainbow always line up in the very same way. Red, orange, yellow. What's next? Green. Green. Blue, indigo, violet. <laughs> I love rainbows. You can learn more about nature with the cat in the hat at pbskids.org. And now, calling all Super Readers. Superwise next. 